If you're a Christian, increasingly in Lebanon or, or Iraq or Syria, you're going to be beheaded. And if you're a moderate, uh, moderate uh, Islamist, you're not going to be able to survive either. We have to play a role in this to be able to bring the rest of the world to this, to this issue before it's too late. Jeb Bush during Tuesday night's Republican debate highlighting challenges facing Christians in the Mideast, along with Miranda Khan, J.D. Hayworth here, and Miranda, Coptic Christians in Egypt yeah. face a stark choice. Yeah, these, uh, well, a lot of them are at risk of being kidnapping, and these kidnappings often go uninvestigated by police and with very little government intervention, unfortunately. For more, we're very pleased to be joined by the founder of Al Fadi TV, Father Zachariah Botros. And Father Botros joins us from an undisclosed location tonight here on Newsmax Prime. Uh, Father, we appreciate your time with so many people flooding into Europe from the Middle East and North Africa. Are you concerned that Christians are not being cared for amongst those uh, refugees? Uh, this is a unique situation that I believe is in flux. <clears throat> While Europe has been so generous in their support of the Syrians and other refugees, many of the Europeans are resisting, uh, specifically Islamic refugee influx. Problems have been reported all over Europe, Germany, Belgium, and Sweden. <clears throat> While there seems to be a strong focus on helping the Muslim refugees in the politically correct European political system, when the rubber hits the road, the people will appreciate having Christian refugees who share their own values, and this could be beneficial for the Christian refugees. Father, Coptic Christians in Egypt are still being targeted, as I mentioned earlier, for kidnapping. Is the Egyptian government doing enough or anything to help stop these crimes? Uh, there are so many enormous challenges facing Egypt at this time from the Sinai situation with ISIS and the uh, uphill in nearly Syria and Iraq. The Christian situation is not new. It has existed for many years, sadly. Unfortunately, it has not been a top priority for the government. But the government understands its responsibility to the Christians, which make up 15% of the Egyptians' population. I can only hope that these crimes will be adequately addressed. As you mentioned this, Father, we're also hearing reports of Christian <clears throat> children being abused even in their classrooms by teachers in Egypt. <clears throat> the latest report we received talks about a 10-year-old Coptic Christian boy being given 40 lashes with an electric wire by his teacher. Is this a widespread occurrence in Egypt? Uh, the persecution of Christians in Egypt goes back a long time. These terrifying reports, unfortunately, are the tip of the iceberg. Christians in Egypt have learned how to stand together and how to display Christ-like character because of these situations that someone in the West has little to no experience of. Egypt government is responsible to address these crimes, and it is not doing enough. And as I have mentioned, Egypt has expressed that it needs more help in fighting terror, but this assistance hasn't been forthcoming from the Obama administration or the U.S. Father, President Sisi believes that the Muslim Brotherhood can play a role in Egypt. Do you agree? Uh, the Muslim bro Brothers, the... Muslim Brothers is a dangerous group that is unyielding in their commitment to Islamic ideas. It can play along for a while, for a while but um, it will eventually show <clears throat> its true colors 
it would be my wish that this not happen, and yet I understand the motivation behind it. This enormous part of Egypt population that would be better engaged than pushed down, perhaps. Sisi has been quite uh, circumspect in his decisions. <clears throat> yes. And I think I would trust his decision on this, though I may not fully agree with it. He mm -hmm. knows who and what he is dealing with. And he wouldn't do it if he didn't have a strong upper hand to prevent problems. And we will have to leave it there. Father Zachariah Botros, we thank you for your time. And we'll continue after this.